Yo, 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 this is Bustian from BossLifeHacks.com and I have a really cool topic today and the title or the theme will be Question Everything. It's gonna be a little different video, okay? It's gonna be a little more like thoughtful, a little more deep. I'll open a lot of questions and not close all of them. So kind of be ready for that, don't hate me. <laughs> this is the kind of video and I have like a proper background for it as well, like sort of ghetto prison. It reminds me of like some maps in Call of Duty, you know, where you have to go in the tower and shoot everybody and sometimes you survive and sometimes you die, right? So it's perfect for this video, right? And there's also a shitload of mosquitoes and rain, which makes it even harder, which is even better. I'll open with um, three quotes that uh, should be a guiding principle here. The first one is, it might not work by Seth Godin. The second one is, whenever you find yourself on the side of the majority, it's time to pause and reflect by Mark Twain. And the third one is, when you're 80 and on your deathbed, would you regret not doing it? That's something we call the rocking chair test. So those three will be the guiding principle um, throughout this video. And uh, I'll start with a few examples, right? So, um, so you know, if we um, take that, um, that quote from Mark Twain, right? If you find yourself on the side of majority, it's time to pause and reflect, right? That's very, very true, especially in today's society, right? A really good book about that, about being remarkable is Purple Cow by Seth Godin. Highly recommend you to read that. And, um, you know, Seth Godin is not just writing books about this, he's actually doing it as well, right? I'll give you a, an example, right? Nowadays, like online courses are everywhere, right? Learn this, learn that, blah, 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 information, prog, that's done, 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 right? But here's the thing, most of the online courses um, the dropout rates are really huge, right? Because there is no pressure, right? You pay a certain amount of money, maybe it's 100, 200, 500 dollars, and then there is no peer pressure. There's, you know, like, and it's just information. So, you know, like the, the dropout rate, the success rate, it's not super amazing. So, what Seth got in this is he, you know, he was not on the side of majority. He used time to pause and reflect. And what he did is a project called Alt MBA. That's awesome. So first of all, the difference is it's really expensive. It's $3,000 for one month, right? However, it's small groups of 10 to 20 people, sometimes five, and it's all project based, right? There's no like no books, no learning, like you learn by doing and you get real time advice from mentors. You get like you cooperate with other people you, and you actually make project. That's how you learn, right? So it's, it's a completely different system. Yet his, um, you know, his turnout rate is like like 95% or something. So it's really, really making a difference, right? Another example that I don't need to like describe in detail is Elon Musk, right? Like he's also against the majority, right? He's like, yeah, like, fuck yeah, let's make fucking electric cars and colonize Mars, right? He's like, like how crazy is that, right? So, you know, people like this or ideas like this are good because, you know, it show they show us that it's possible and they show us that, yes, it's good to take, you know, some time every now and then and like think about the shit you're doing, right? Another example by yours truly, um, like I don't want to, you know, like brag or whatever the fuck, but it, like, you know, recently published a book, right? And like the usual process was really fucked up. You had to like apply to publishers and then get rejected like a thousand times and like it really sucked and all that, right? And nowadays, if again, if you go away from the how majority works, like you can self-publish, okay? Like, yes, it's a little more difficult. You need to like learn a few things on your own but you can do it and like the results is awesome and you know you can publish the things that you want to share with the world a lot quicker and with a lot less pain that you would otherwise have to right so just another example you know so there is a lot more examples about this but um you will know or you will notice that it's true you know like take any role models that you have any like successful people like almost like any person of influence or importance or people that you admire like most of them if not all are probably doing some things radically different than others right which comes from you know taking a different stance taking time to reflect and pause and you know think about stuff right so the next section of the video um i titled it in my notes as a bunch load of questions right like like those are your guiding principles, right? So, so one of the constants that I believe you should be having in your life is like a feeling of 
what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> I think you should be feeling this on, on a very regular basic. What the fuck am I doing right now? Like kind of like confusion, uncertainness, like, you know, like non-assertive. Like I think it's a really, really good thing because it makes you question and reconsider everything, right? Then you have the like a really like broad questions, right? Is it the right job for me right now? Is it the right partner? Like, am I moving in the right directions? And I agree, those are really big questions, right? But if you learn and teach yourself how to ask them constantly, day by day, week by week, month by month, maybe even, um, you know, it's just more of a confirmation that you are doing the right thing, right? For example, you have a job that you like, and if week by week, month by month, the answer is, yeah, like I should be doing this. Yes, it's like, it's awesome. It's exactly what I want. And it's perfect, right? You just have like a shitload of confirmations that what you're doing is good and right. However, if the questions lead you somewhere else, hmm, it might be the time to reconsider, right? Uh, fucking mosquitoes, man. Ah! So, um, a couple of ways how you can actually, you know, ask these questions in a systematic way, right? Um, I would say for like smaller things, smaller decisions, you can do daily stuff, you know, just like write three things that uh, were good and three things that you could change every day, right? For example, some decisions, some habits, some routines, whatever, right? It's reflection on micro scale, right? Then, you know, maybe every week, you know, it's it's time for a little bigger decisions, you know? Oh, these projects that I'm starting out right now, these people I'm meeting right now, is it okay? Like, is it going the way I want or not really? And then a little even more macro is like, I don't know, every month or every two months, right? major stuff like is is this job still the right one is this partner still is like is are my decisions leading me where i want to go you know and on all those occasions like some of the time you should be feeling the oh fuck like i have no clue what i'm doing right now like that's good that's really good and i'll tell you a few secrets later on connected to this right um another like bonus tip in in this part of the video is listen to your body as well sometimes you know like in our fucking minds we can be like all weird and confused and like oh i don't know but like your body kind of knows right so how do you know like do you wake up motivated to do things that you want to do you know are you burning out regularly you know are you like just busting out some work and sleep deprived and like shitty nutrition like all these things are probably not signaling that you're like doing all the right things as well right so like listen to your body you know are there like some unexplainable headaches that you're having you know on and off like it signals that there's some shit you need to be working on right and again then you come to the question i have no fucking idea why these headaches or some bullshit is here but that's good slowly and surely if you are brave enough you will kind of discover what's up right so testing assumptions, oh, these mosquitoes. So testing assumptions is definitely a great way to go, right? Here's a secret I mentioned before. Um, you know what? Nobody knows what the fuck they're doing, right? Like, do you think Elon Musk was, at least when he started on this mission, do you think he was 100% certain he can colonize Mars? Like, really, like, take people, put them in a spaceship and, like, shoot them in this, like, what the fuck, right? Like, and, and that's something that you will realize, like most people in these positions or people that you're, look, you're looking up to, like most of the time they have no clue what they're doing, right? They're not sure as well. They're just kind of like fake it till you make it, right? So it's completely fine, you know, to, to have those feelings. And as said, you know, stay calm, but do shit, right? So this is how you will test assumptions, right? So to give you a very practical example, when I was still living in London, I went to a seminar by James Altucher. I think he has like several books, you know, like this hedge fund investor, really cool guy. And I had a question. I was like, you know, first I was like shitting in my pants because I wasn't, I was afraid to ask the question, like hundreds of people there and like me, some like 20 year old dude, like asking this guy something, right? Like, what the fuck? So I asked him like, um, James, you know, how do you know, like you start a project and you've been going like a month or two and then how do you know, like, is this going to turn out well? Is it like, is it a matter of not putting in enough effort or, or like, you know, not putting in enough work or is it simply a bad idea? And his answer was really, really good. And I think it can help you with like these testing assumptions and with this question as well. And the, the, the counter question is, is there any traction? 
right? So you're doing something. Let's say that you're, ah, I don't know, like you're making a company of plumbers, right? You want to employ different plumbers and send them to homes or whatever. Is there traction? Are you getting business? Do, do your clients love the work? Do you get uh, enough of employees? Like, like, is there any traction? And if it's not, after two months, after some time, it's probably not the best idea or maybe you don't have the right skill sets, you know, so maybe drop that, focus on something else, right? Obviously, like you need to put in some time and effort to even be able to test that assumption. But if there is no traction after a significant period of time, let's say two months, then it might be a good idea to kill it, right? And then the last part of the video is a little bit better, a little bit more positive, a little bit less questioning, right? It's, I titled it kind of like the path crystallizes. I'm super in this like, in this title mood now. I'm doing a lot of writing and stuff as well, which is cool. But yeah, basically it means that, you know, if you're brave, if you um, ask these questions all the time, you will get certain answers as well. Like it's not like that your life path will unveil and you know, you will forever be enlightened, no. But, you know, every new project that you start and finish or and start another and finish or continue work on something and then start and finish other things, like all these things will kind of bring you a little closer to the thing you should be doing, right? A good um, metaphor is like a plane, right? Plane is off course 99% of the time or something like this. But then the pilot or the computer in the plane is like automatically correcting that course as you go and the plane reaches the destination, right? So all these questions and micro assumptions will um, help you test the waters and continually correct your destinations to kind of reach where you're going, right? All right, so a little bit of a recap. Um, still here in Sofia, Bulgaria, this like prison sort of uh, tower behind me, right? Topic of today's video was mosquitoes and how to question almost everything. Um, super important thing, you know, all the successful people or all the mentors, people that you look up to, they are asking these questions all the time. You know, you have micro and macro levels. I would suggest you to ask smaller questions daily and then bigger questions weekly, monthly, maybe, you know. Um, it's really good to have that feeling of, oh shit, what the fuck am I doing? Where the fuck am I going? It's really good to have that feeling. And um, the really important thing is as well to kind of stay calm and, you know, like continue doing shit, right? You ask those questions, but then you test assumptions. You start projects, you work on something, and then you see, is there any traction? Good, continue. Is there not? maybe move to something else, right? There's um, a couple of really heavy phrases that you should be, you know, having in your mouth all the time. One is, is it going to work by Seth Godin? Another is um, when you find yourself on the side of the majority, um, it's time to reconsider and reflect, right? It's time to pause and reflect by Mark Twain. And one of my personal favorites when you're deciding whether you want to do something or not is the rocking chair test, right? When you're 80 and on your deathbed, will you regret not doing that. So having all this in mind, you know, you can continue to explore the things that you want to do, the assumptions, the project, and slowly but surely, like an airplane, you know, your course of action will kind of start to go a certain way and you will kind of start to discover the things you should be doing and like the gift that you have to give to this world, right? So uh, thanks again for the watching. I know this was a little more deeper, ranty sort of style video. Let me know how you like these topics. Drop me some comments. I obviously read all of them. I'm still happy as a key. Like, hey, like I get comments yay so I'll definitely answer to that and yeah um, until the next video Ooh, GG man